Well, here we go, guys. We have our first match between Obabo and Velipity. Obabo being one of our, uh, or I think the youngest player in today's tournament. And let's see how he does going up against the wrestling coach. We've got pre bans going out. Okiano's getting pre banned by Obabo and Han getting pre banned by Velipity. Yeah, and I think Obabo may lead out with a Sierra here or a Chibu. And because he favors, you, lo you looked at both of the most picked units here, and they were all speed based. It was all Okeanos's, Chiwu's, Gany Haplers. Uh, so no surprise to see the split between Chiwu and Ciara. Uh, Obabo clearly is going to go, likely going to go with some sort of a speed comp here. Uh, Chiwu into probably some sort of a Gany Hap or, or something like that. Uh, and Velipity, of course, taking the Sierra uh, Savannah. So interesting take on the Savannah at this point, but probably doing that just to deny Obabo that pick. Ooh, Bobo drafting the Gany Hathor with that Chiwu as well. Velipity still with that CR. And Savannah looking to possibly respond after seeing a Gany Hathor. Maybe some immunity to help cover his back here. Yeah, he might need some immunity with a ban on that Chiwu. It's a little difficult to say at this point, but Obabo being able to lay down Gany Hathor, you don't actually see at the high ends of the ladder Gany and Hathor being taken together often because they can be countered. Uh, but Velipity laying down Sierra and Savannah don't quite uh, have a good response to Gany Hathor, and that's why he's able to do that. Uh, so now he takes a Esna and a Juno, uh, which is in response to li likely going to be banning out this Chiwu here, uh, and then surviving some sort of a game he has. Well, Daphnis being picked by Obaba, one last pick to wrap up his draft here, and it's going to be that Verdi heal. Does he choose to lock it in? And I believe he is. He does lock in Daphnis and Verdi heal for Obabo Velipity looking to respond after seeing those two units. Yeah, so I think uh, Obabo here, I think Velipity's best chance of winning is either taking, is likely taking out that Chiru just because once Obabo's team goes off, it's too hard to be able to survive. Uh, and, and by taking that vigor, he's telling us that he does want to survive over time. So he may actually be splitting Gany Hathor. But again, taking out Chiru is always generally okay because if Chiru goes through, the whole team goes off. Uh, but what we're going to see here is we're going to see possibly a Savannah opening, but that Daphnis is going to go off. There's no real way to stop it aside from Ethna into a Sierra, but then there's a Gany Hatha behind. So I like Obabo's situation here. He may lose a unit though off the bat. We'll see depending on speeds. Yep, we'll definitely be seeing it here. We're going into this first match with Obabo and Velipity. Ethna is going to be taking first turn here. Third skill is going to be coming out. Yeah, so Velipity here does need to take out a unit with this opening matchup here. Otherwise, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. He's going to lose a unit of his own versus that Daphne. So he needs to take out a unit with this opening exchange. Yep. Ooh, but we do see the revenge coming from that Vertihill. Vertihill is able to push forward. Yeah, Vertihill able to get that revenge. So very, really, really lucky by Obabo here. And again, this uh, Daphne is likely going to take out the Sierra. And then, uh, and unfortunately does miss there. So that's a giant miss. Huge miss, not getting that strip defense break on top of that CR, but we can see the Vertiel is going to be cycling a little bit of attack bar going right after that CR, but Bomb's going to be coming out. If you can drop this Athor, it's definitely going to be a little bit of saving grace for Velipity. Choosing to put that Bomb on the Vertiel instead, goes to the detonate, gets a stun as well. Additional turns coming out of CR, CR taking advantage of that defense break, sitting on top of Hathor. Ethna looking to drop this Hathor here, does not get the kill on the Hathor just yet. Yeah, absolutely monstrous uh, resistor. And at the same time, stun, stun goes out on Vertihal here. But again, that Vendelay goes on to Daphnis. Daphnis is going to be able to take out a unit here. But again, I don't know if Obabo has enough to be able to withstand this onslaught coming. Daphnis drops that CR. Savannah drops that Hathor going unit for unit right now. Is the Daphnis going to be enough for Obabo to hold on? We're going to find out. Juno looking to drop the Daphnis, not just yet. Glancing sitting on top of Ethna. Ethna with a little bit of poke damage. I do believe the dot's going to be enough. And the Juno is going to be going after that Vertiheal. Yeah, definitely not. That Daphnis is definitely going to go down. You see that dot there. It doesn't have a shield up. It's going to go down. I don't think a Vertihal and a Ganymede together are going to be enough because there's too much health on Velipity's side here. Does ventilate that Daphnis just in case it was able to survive, but unfortunately it's not. So I don't think Obama is going to be able to have this one. Yep, that is correct. See that third skill coming out, stunning up the Verdi Hill. And there you have it, Velipity with the surprising round one win over Obabo. Well, here we go, guys. You can see the pre bans from last time. Okiano's getting pre banned by Obabo, and that Han getting pre banned by Velipity. New pre bans should be coming out shortly. Yeah, in this case, Velipity does have first pick here, so it'll be interesting to see how that Sierra and Chiwu balance goes. I think both players are going to favor those speed leads. Uh, Obabo typically is going to want double speed lead in the form of uh, Sierra and Chiwu. So 
a uh, very smart ban uh, pre ban on Leo. I really like that because he knows that he has a Han in his back pocket. Volipity is forced to take that Sierra first now. Otherwise, Obabo is going to be able to go with Han into, into Sierra, into a whole bunch of stuff. So I think Volipity does have to take that Sierra, recognizes that, and that's exactly what he does. Good to see Nokiana Savannah coming out from Obabo in response to seeing that Sierra getting first picked by Volipity. And I think Obaba, we see him on the ladder with this type of style a lot, uh, kind of goes for pseudo turn one into two play. So Han and Beta are definitely in this back pocket where Beta can give immunity. If not, he'll have a strong opening with Savannah and Okeanos into a Han to blow you up. Uh, so Vilipity does need to play around that uh, because that's kind of what Obaba's draft is shaping up to look like. Uh, and then so we see that Veladrol, which kind of looks like that, but also if that uh, Vel if that uh, Okeanos gets banned out, there may not be an answer from Obabo's side to deal with that Veladrol. Yep, Han and Veladrol for Velipity. Obabo hovering over that Han. Does he confirm the beta as well? We've seen it in America's Cup when J Mac was drafted himself, and he brings the bearing. Bearing is an interesting pick here. Obviously, third skill with the ability to strip and then silence. So that might be, it's very similar to a Chiwu here. Uh, that Beta is also an interesting pick because it's a confirmation of, it's a denial of that bearing. And it's also confirmation that he is banning out the bearing and then takes a light Teor. It takes the, the Shan there. That's not a unit we see very often here. Definitely not a unit we see often. I think it's fantastic that we're seeing it in an SWC now. And I think actually if Obabo takes a second stripper, like some second AoE stripper, he probably instantly wins the draft. Because Volipity's units tend to be anywhere from the 270 to the 300 range. If you take out Sierra, you get outsped there. So I, I think Obabo should lean towards some sort of a Triton play here. But uh, but a uh, Barber is also pretty, pretty acceptable. He's likely going to pop a unit out off the bat. Is his plan of attack. Bearing has to be the ban. Sierra has to be the ban. So Obabo is going to be able to open up with three units here. I think that Barber is going to outspeed Volipity's team if it's on Swift. Uh, and he needs to take something out um, of Volipity's. Yep, speed lead for Obabo. But just for that Han alone, here we go, guys. We're going to be going into round two with Obabo and Volipity. If Volipity takes this match, not only is he going to be moving forward, but everybody's going to be building Sean after this who has it. Here we go, guys. Beta with first turn for Volipity. Yeah, that is a very fast Beta. Should be on Swift here. Right? Beta does have very high base speed, but again, that outsped Okeanos, so should be on Swift. But again, everything, most of the things were on Will anyways. Uh, does not boost his team up very much, so kind of unfortunate there. Uh, that Sean still might be going down with this Han moving next. Sean was able to get reset here. Han looking to finish off the Sean. Can he finish off the Sean using the Han? It's not dead yet, but you can see the full attack bar sitting on top of that Han. Savannah possibly looking to capitalize off of it. Wow, no defense break coming out from that Han, so that's absolutely massive. Otherwise, he would have been able to down the Sean next. Uh, and this Ethna moving next might be able to actually de deny the Han a turn here. And if that's the case, then that's massive. Ooh, you can see the Shatter comes out with the initial turn as well with the defense break sitting on top of Sha uh, on top of uh, Han. And we see that third skill not dropping the Han yet. Wow, that is unfortunate. That Han goes down. There's no way Obabo can come back from this. He, the Lippity does have immunity up on his entire side. There's no way Okeanos does anything into that. Uh, and he also has the support of a beta that can revive a unit. So way too much protection. Very unlucky for Obabo not getting those defense breaks. Not Would not have mattered because he got cut anyways. But I mean, that Sean just being able to survive that uh, Barbara not quitting off the bat just kind of cost him the game there. Exactly. You see, he's going for the Rain of Stones just for, for damage at this point, trying to drop this uh, Sean not receiving the kill yet. Sean's still holding on. Savannah should be able to drop it, though. Yeah, Savannah might be able to drop it. It's not over. That's a violent Okeano, so that might be able to give o Obabo the chance to come back in the match here. We'll have to see how this pans out. There's a lot of damage on Obabo's side of the field. Yep, there definitely is, but there is still a revive with this beta. I'm not sure if it'll be enough to bounce back if he does need it. We're going to find out. Athena with the second skill, I do believe it was built on uh, Despair. Yeah, definitely. That's how Athenas are mostly built on Despair here, and that's a lot of damage coming out. Defense breaks on two units here, uh, and Okeanos' third skill still needs two more turns, so Babo needs a few procs on this Okeanos if he wants a chance does land that reset onto the battle we're not going to be seeing seeing that sean coming back here does vela have enough to drop the bob or is he going to go after the savannah trying to get it off the beast and savannah's not off that beast just yet 
Yeah, definitely needs to dismount that Savannah because Savannah's skill three would be too big of a turn of events here. But this Ethna does have a choice to make the sides and wants to skill to Savannah here and take up that barber later. So conservative and smart play by Bolivity. And there's the additional turn once again coming out of the Ethna. Ethna with the despair stuns on the Savannah. Savannah's gonna be dropped here, looking so good for Velipity. Wow, and Obabo being taken out here. I mean, Velipity just has too much on his side of the field here. That Ethna, violent proctor doing a ton of damage. Violent Ethna. Uh, and Obabo is going to be in some trouble. But again, this Okeanos does a lot of damage uh, with those artifacts here. And if it procs enough, may still have a chance. It might. We're going to find out. Going for the reset, trying to keep down the sustain on top of Lippity's side of the field. A lot of poke damage coming towards this Beta. Beta with the return damage. We have that third scale. He's going to be pushing up, getting in front of Obabo. You can see he's going to continue focusing down this unit. Yeah, continues focusing it down. And again, that Veladrilla just has too much health. But again, Obabo's Okeanos has just procced another time. He needs to survive one more hit here, uh, but does not get that strip. So highly unfortunate. Does not get that strip. Big punishments coming out here. And is this going to be enough? You may even just go for a revive at this point. Yeah, and I think at this point, he actually should have healed up that Veladrilla. Chose not to do so and might lose the game because of that. Oh, down to the wire! Velipity's going to get the 2-0 on Obabo!